Jacob Duffney here, and you are watching Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Walkthrough, and today we will be heading more north. In the last episode, you saw us take on Team Galactic at the Valley Windworks. Now we're all 205 and above. Yeah, I already explained that if you lather things with honey. Honey that may attract Pokemon around it. And Pokemon may pop out of the tree. I haven't had that good luck with using honey in the past, but I know it works. I believe if I remember correctly, I caught my Paracross from a honey tree back in the good old days of regular diamond and pearl and platinum. I think that's the only thing I've actually been able to get out of one of those trees, but so be it. Soon I'll have a Manaphy that can learn learn some water moves to take down fire Pokemon. And in reality, these games only have like three fire Pokemon. The starter, so if you chose Pertwig, your rival will have that only Chimchar in the entire region. And if and I, there's Ponyta. Can't remember the other one, but I know there's one more. So yeah, really, if, if you have a water type Pokemon, it's pretty much useless in terms of anything being super effective against it. Switch here with Caleb. And I may just switch the party up so you can get the level 18 to evolve. Because should be evolving into them soon. And that was that. Chop. I think I could take that on myself here. Throw some leaves at it and call it a day. Okay, throw some more leaves at it and call it a day. That packed a punch. Damn, so close. Oh, I should have enough experience after this one to level up, I would think. Yes, I did. And should be evolving. Beat it. How many freaking Pokemon do you have? I'll throw Jenna at it. Can't hurt me. And yay. Haka Daniel was defeated. Oh yeah, a refreshing battle that was. And that was a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. What? 
revolving. Grotto. It's only three foot seven. It's like a little tiny dinosaur. battle here. You can do it. Super effective. Jenna in the front so that I can gain some more experience. Can get an antidote here. Can come around here. There's a trainer there. Grab a Pokeball. Can never go wrong with too many Pokeballs. Grab some orange berries. Chop down the entire tree in the process. And grab two Petra Berries. And... Shinx! Nothing we can't handle. some better moves on good old Mew here. Probably throw some TMs on it. Because Pound is just not cutting it. Maybe because he's a little bit lower level than the rest of them, but still not necessarily cutting it. But it also just means when we win, we'll get more experience and level up faster. Oh. No, I'm higher level than Pachirisu here. Pachirisu is so cute. Man, it's, a, it's a large tail. Nice little squirrel. have anything that's really effective against electric type at the moment either so I can't swap them out I mean that grotto might be a little bit better as he does resist electric type moves but not necessarily effective against them either goodness gracious
Uh, this battle's taking forever. There, I just cut to the end of the battle. Because that was taking a little bit longer than I would have liked. You lost because you're weak. Peasant. So now let's... I'm going to take a look at my TMs that I have here. Work up, Rock Smash, Stealth Rock, Rock Tomb, and Pluck. Um, I was hoping I had a little bit better selection there, but now we can come up here, and I'm actually going to quickly up there, and now let's Fight this person. And I was not expecting that picnicker to have a geodude, so I guess that's great. Let's go, Grottle. Caleb can take it. And that is all she wrote. Camper, not picnicker. I swear they used to be called picnickers, or is that a different trait? And there's another guy over here we can battle. Should have expected him to have rock type Pokemon, but I was not expecting that camper to have rock type Pokemon. Huh. Right now I don't have a really move on Jenna that can handle him. Man, the only move that does any damage is pound. I'll throw a leaf at Jenna, it should still knock it out in one hit. Or I was wrong. Very wrong indeed. What does that do? I don't think it really does anything, but to look not worthless and that is all she wrote now let's go on grab a repel here and these runners actually only fight you in the morning and I am actually playing in the morning I have nothing yet to actually battle these runners in in my other version of the game because I'm playing that one normally at night. Throw a pound at it. Uh, I don't like that. I 
and I'm running out of PP for pound. Yes, more battles. This episode's not very exciting. There's no storyline happening. But on a better chance, we're leveling up and getting stronger. And I'm going to have to take out Jenna soon because she's not going to have a move that can actually do any damage. Sorry, Piplup. And then there's this house here, which I think she actually rests up. Oh, yeah, she does. Forgot about this house. So now we're fully healed and Jenna's good to go. Yeah, I think I can get through a turn of force by myself. And down here, there's a super potion. And that just takes you back there. And now, you go up here. If you have Pokemon with Cut, you can skip by the entire forest altogether. And let's go into the Turn of Forest. I'm looking at my time here, I'm at 18 minutes. Turn force doesn't take too long. Just more battles. And this and this lady's name is Cheryl. And you'll be taking her through a turn of force. I really didn't, didn't really decide to go Cheryl. You didn't really give me a choice. But after every battle, she will heal you up. You should have just head south. And that little rock over there with the light over it. If you have an Eevee in a train over there when it levels up, it will evolve into Leafeon. And that is my favorite Eevee Lucian. Last Brianna sent out all those Pokemon. Okay, so just for the record, this Chansey is pretty much worthless. So don't expect much help from Chansey. In fact, if you want to, you could just knock out the chance if you want to. But Cheryl apparently cannot use attacking moves. Unify, one of my favorite bug type Pokemon. Ow. 
Oh, now I'm paralyzed. Oh, that's great. Cooper here. Then get this to go quicker. And helps lower their attacks, which is nice. Beautiful, I end up confused. And those didn't really do much of anything. Told you Chansey on this team is worthless. Pretty sure that only knows R and two, but might as well just get that out of the way. Huh. Patrice is doing damage against itself, that's nice. And took that out. Now I'm gonna switch to Caleb to finish off Patrice. That did like nothing. at it and I probably won't really do much of anything huh. well that did more damage than I thought so that's all she wrote in that and they gave zero experience points like it had actually stayed that battles. At least they only have two. Two Abra, Kebradabra, Alakazam. I love how they named the Abra line that. She wrote on that. Ugh. The wild grass is all this daunting. Ooh, there's. 
And something I would like to point out that with show when you run in the wild Pokemon, you'll run. Ooh, I'm interrupted. Manaphy hash for the egg. So now I got four team members. Yes, I would. No, I'm actually going to name this one after my sister, Jacqueline. Okay. When you run into wild Pokemon, you actually run into two Pokemon. They can be different, they can be the same Pokemon. Mon. And you cannot catch them. If you want to catch one, you have to knock out one of them before you can catch the other one. So if you run into two Pokemon that you want to catch, well, tough luck. That's all I got to say about that. And now these bug catchers. And Wormple fainted. That is jump. I don't even think it got to one. It just went directly to four. Could be crazy. Probably am. Those ducks. I hate that thing. I think it just looks ugly. I actually don't know if Cheryl has any other Pokemon after Chansey Faints. Cause I've never actually had Chansey Faint. <laughs> so there she goes. Halo Guru 20. Everyone's leveling up. This gracious. Trying to run, wasn't even paying attention. Don't know how I ended up on the running. Okay, now. Let's go. Good job, Manaphy. Leveling up like a champ. I'm actually gonna switch out. Pretty sure um Burmy there is a grass type. So, flying type moves will be the best against it.
Gotta say, Cougar Tunes cry is pretty, pretty cool. Should be close to the end of the forest. Well, that's nice. Something I didn't even ask for. Evolving. Beautifly. I do like Beautifly. And I would possibly use it, except Beautifly is kind of weak. Here, there's a d another double bat over there. If you want Which? Two, three. I'm actually going to avoid that double battle for now. If I could stop being interrupted, that'd be good. Only reason why I'm doing this. Mainly for time purposes. I've been recording for a little bit of while, going on 33 minutes now, so I'm just gonna get to the end and I'll probably fight that battle off screen. Well, yeah, that is that. So. Yeah, well, that is that for the video. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And please give a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.